Hey dudes, and welcome to today's vlog. For today, I kind of wanted to talk about trending topics. I totally stole this idea from Megan Tonjes. I'm just gonna throw that out there right now. In fact, I should probably put my sunglasses on. Now, I'm Megan Tonjes minus her sunglasses are like way cuter than mine. I don't know if you can see the setup I have here, <laughs> but it's kind of funny. Oh, these glasses are dirty. I love watching Megan Tonjes and I always love when she does like her people keep talking chat in her car and I just kind of was like, you know what? There's a lot of topics that I have thoughts and feelings on and maybe I will try that out and see if it's something that you guys like or I don't know, we'll just see where it goes. I just really had something else that I was gonna do today and then I've just decided to bump that out a little bit. So this is where we're at. We're just gonna have a little chat today. Let's have some fun. First and foremost, the YouTube Rewind video came out today for 2016. I love like mashup music kind of Easter egg videos. So I of course really loved it. However, I am always disappointed when YouTube chooses to ignore vloggers. I mean, of course, Casey Neistat was in it, and the Sacconi Jolies were in it. Maybe a few others. I didn't really notice anybody that stood out to me as a vlogger like that, but, like, I was watching on Twitter, and Shay Carl retweeted somebody, and then Charles tweeted, Charles has never been in a Rewind video. Guys, he holds a world record for the most vlogs. You would think that YouTube would I don't know, just kind of showcase their vloggers a little bit more. I don't know why vloggers are always like the short end of the stick when it comes to YouTube. It doesn't really make sense. I know that there's not a whole lot of production value that goes into a vlog, at least not normally. And so I understand that, but it is a dedication to everyday film and be thinking about your audience, interacting with your audience, getting to know your viewers, your viewers become family, and your vlog is more reality TV than reality TV is reality TV. So anyway, obviously I'm pretty passionate about it, but I just think that vloggers deserve a little bit more credit in the YouTube world than they get. All right, so I have pulled up Twitter's trending topics. So let's see what's going on. Phoenix is at Utah. I think that's a local trending topic. Don't really care because I don't watch basketball. Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day. Obviously, this is an important day. It's just always sad when there is so much death and sadness that revolves around people thinking that they deserve to take over the world or war and all of that. Like, I guess I'll just never fully understand why we can't just have peace. Um, I mean, it really only comes down to greed and that sucks because there's plenty of room in this whole world for all of us and no one person, like I talked about this in the lecture, no one person's opinion is any better than the others. So it kind of sucks when there's just so much war and sadness and obviously that is part of why Pearl Harbor happened is that people just retaliate and they're mean. You think, oh, Pearl Harbor was so long ago, but to be honest, I mean, we have Pearl Harbor things that happen every single day and the reason it's important to remember these things is that we don't forget but we're still making the same mistakes so I don't know like I don't know what to do I mean world peace that's the thing that every beauty queen wants right so I don't know maybe someday person of the year Donald Trump is times person of the year okay <laughs> sure why not why not nothing surprises me anymore Kim Kardashian is trending why I don't know oh supposedly Kim and Kanye are getting a divorce I don't know. I know a lot of people are like, well, they're famous for doing nothing. Well, so are vloggers. So, I mean, I don't know. Everybody has their thing that they do. So, I really don't want to judge too much and whatever. I mean, whether whether you watch their show or you don't, I mean, it's kind of hard to avoid any member of a Kardashian group right now. So, in the way of an entrepreneur and an entertainer, they've all gotten their names out there. So, I mean, good on them. If Kim and Kanye get a divorce, I think the saddest thing is, is they have, what, two kids together? I mean, who knows, who knows what goes on? Who knows if them getting divorced is a better thing than them staying together? I don't know. I'm not in their marriage with them. All I wish is that their kids are okay and that they're okay. I know that Kanye is having a rough time. 
Hopefully he can get through things. Willie Tagger, I don't know who that is. <sighs> Willie Tagger is uh, the USF Bulls head coach. USF, University of Southern Florida. I don't know why he's in the news. The tweets are everywhere. I guess he's thinking of leaving. Okay. <laughs> I suck at sports, guys. I don't know why is there so many sports ones. Larry Bird. It's Larry Bird's 60th birthday. Happy birthday, Larry Bird. I don't know why Twitter is telling me all of these tweets that are sports related. Hashtag UT UTED. And I was like, what is that something to do with the Utes? It's Utah Education Department. So I guess there's something big going on with that. I'm out of school and I don't have anybody in school. So I don't really pay attention to that, which I obviously should. There's something on the ballot about schools. Okay, so... The next trending topic is Ink Master, and last night they had a winner. I'm blocking this one because Tyson was at a concert last night, and I didn't get to watch the finale of Twitter. Ink Master, so I'm really excited. Hopefully somebody, the person I wanted to win, won. So we're just gonna, we're gonna scroll past that one because I do not want to see. I don't want to see who won yet. The Santa Tracker is trending, which is always interesting. Internet came out like after I was already like a non-believer. <laughs> don't let your kids hear that. But I think that's fun. I actually was kind of like, I don't know. I Tyson and I were not really fully decided on how we wanted to do tradition stuff like that with Beckett, whether we wanted to be up front from the beginning or not. I don't know, but the Santa Tracker, that's kind of fun to see. I think it mostly is just fun to see where the different time zones are and like where they are in the celebration of the day. Will Smith is trending because there's a trial on Will Smith's shooter. I didn't know Will Smith got shot at. Apparently I live under a rock. Christopher Supran is a, rep a Republican that says he still won't cast his vote for Donald Trump. The election's over. All we can do now is accept what is because there's not much we can do to change it. I really am fine with people who are voicing their opinion that they're dissatisfied with the election results. That is your right, and as long as it's peaceful, that's your right, do it, fine. But unfortunately, there's not a lot that anyone can really do right now other than rally together and make sure that no matter what, America as a whole is going to be safe and okay. And again, my opinion is coming from someone who, other than being a woman, I'm not really in a demographic that is being targeted by a lot that's going on. So it's really easy for me to say that I feel safe and secure and that I just want to be able to move forward and hopefully we all come together. I recognize that's really easy for me to say. And I really have a soft heart for those who don't feel secure. And I recognize where they're coming from and I validate where they're coming from. And I want my friends who don't feel secure to know that I will always stand for them and do anything in my power to make sure that they feel secure and that this America is an America for them as well. So with that said, I mean, people who are still denying the vote, I mean, if they are allowed to deny that, then I, then I don't see the problem with that. I don't know. I don't know where to go with that other than I don't fully understand all the ins and outs of politics. Like I study topics, but I don't really understand like what happens after the election and like different things like the electoral college. It's all really confusing and I think that they make it confusing on purpose. I guess that's a conspiracy theory. I don't know. And Lady Gaga just revealed that she has PTSD. That's interesting. I'm clicking on it to see where, if she discusses where she got PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. Okay, so she is stating that this is stemming from a rape that happened when she was 19. <sighs> I don't think I knew that. I mean, it says she revealed it in 2014, and I don't think that I really process that that's heartbreaking she says that her own trauma in her life has helped her gain an understanding of trauma of others yeah <laughs> i can relate to that so much i had ptsd and depression and anxiety before everything went down this year and obviously everything that happened this year just kind of aggravated it and added to it my heart goes out to her because I know how hard and scary that is and I also know how incredibly brave it is for her to talk about it because there's so many people who are not in a position that they can talk about the big things in their life and that really damages your brain when you can't 
have an avenue where you can share, like a safe space where you can share what's in your mind. I'm really, really lucky because I have this camera and behind this camera is all of you guys watching and I don't know, this camera, like I've, I cannot stress enough how much this camera just is my therapy. And obviously I'm just grateful for people like Lady Gaga who can come out and stand out, stand up for what they've gone through and be there for others. But it's also like so heartbreaking because it's like she had to go through such a trauma in order to relate and it sucks that so many people have gone through so many traumatic things in their life. And I don't like people to feel that pain. I mean that is horrible. Like if I could just keep all that pain to myself and other people didn't feel that pain, it makes me sad. Ugh, that's heartbreaking. That sucks. That really sucks, but I'm glad that she's being a voice for others. That's really, that's really cool of her to do that. Because I didn't really want to make this sit down about sad things. But apparently that's what life is. Life has sad things. So, I mean, sometimes we just come full circle. But anyway, guys, that was trending topics with Amy. <laughs> I don't really have a good title for it. It's a work in progress if we do do this again. If you have other trending topics that you want me to talk about, like, let's let's talk about it. I'll have to do a little bit more research because I need to find a better site that tells me some more interesting trending topics that aren't sports related because I am clueless. If it's not the youths, I'm clueless. So, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching you are the best you guys are the greatest thank you so much for those of you who have gone over and checked out the patreon I just left a message to the patreon patrons and let them know the status and where everything is and I'm really excited about the direction that we're going over there and the fun stuff that's gonna be happening in the next month as we vamp up and start working on that so thank you guys for being amazing and you guys are trending topics in my life because I talk about you all the time <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so great. I love your bums, and we will see you next time.